Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have some very exciting Monster High news. There's been an update on the IMDb voice casting list with even more new characters getting added and more voice actors, such as Caddy Noir returning and is getting played by the iconic Kim Petras. Yes, stay tuned and let's get into it. So the IMDb page for the Monster High animated series has changed a little bit, obviously, since because now there's actual episodes airing. Uh, but it does seem like the latest episode is listed here and when you go down we can see the series cast so it includes all your you know basics claudine uh, cleo deuce draculaura laguna and uh then we get some new characters like claude who just got introduced into the series yesterday and there's been some ad additional voice casting but there's also been uh some Voice, ca voice cast here that's been missing so since last time i made a video uh where i talked about joshua bassett playing like a uh, potentially torley's uh brother uh character which he is no longer listed in this voice casting list so you know obviously he doesn't play a role in this series which is okay that was always going to be 50 50 but um last time we also saw that there were a bundle of the original voice actors for uh, g1 you know like cleo claudine draculaura frank you know their voice actors were coming back to reprise their roles as the G generation one character versions so that would have played into the whole idea that we're getting the multiverse of monsters you know where draculaura opens up a portal and ex accidentally you know transports them uh, into the G1 universe but interestingly enough since we actually got that description of the episode now on the voice casting list the original voice actors are no longer listed for uh, the G1 you know versions of Claudine, Cleo, uh, Dracula and Frankie they're no longer here like they're at, like literally no longer here so that is uh, very interesting I guess what does that mean are we no longer getting the episode or has the episode already been filmed I don't know this is uh i feel like this whole voice casting list is kind of like a hit or miss first new character is barkimedes here getting voiced by darius johnson for two episodes airing this year the name sounds like a pet name at first but it could be a werewolf name you know a new character getting added to the werewolf pack you know that belongs to Halloween and romulus so let's see how that you know ends up speaking of here's the voice actor for romulus and buddy scott menville and then but right below that we have Kayla Cromer voicing Twyla for two episodes this year. I don't know if she I don't know if she's like the original voice actress for Twyla, but Twyla is coming back. We interestingly enough, we have not seen any kind of design leak for her yet uh, as a character in the show. We've only gotten to see her artwork and obviously she has a doll release already with the creep over party series but um yeah no design leak yet so we don't really know what she's gonna look like in the series but it's safe to say um she's gonna get added really quickly the voice actor for claude is also included here jonathan Mello, you know for one episode airing this year so i don't know how many more claude episodes we're gonna get very soon since this you know the date is listed as this year and not next year uh i guess i i, I just hope we get more claude episodes next and year. then we get to the highlight piece definitely which is kim petra's apparently voicing caddy noir for one episode airing this year still so okay first of all i know last time joshua bassett you know he was supposed to play a character didn't turn out to be correct and now kim petras is listed as voicing caddy no r kim petras is a pop star by the way she is uh a iconic pop star um and i don't know if she's done any voice acting before but i guess it could be like a guest appearance it could be like a like a like a little cameo if that's what's kind of like happening um i mean caddy noir deserves to be a full-fledged character though like i do hope caddy you know gets brought back fully and not just like a cameo um and i just i don't know i hope that they do her do her right because like caddy deserves a comeback she's iconic and kim petras is perfect for caddy honestly they're both pop stars and they both love pink and just look at them so um i think you know it's it's shocking i'm shook 
uh, is it true? I don't know. I, again, I, I feel like 50-50. It could be true. It could also not be true. So I'm I'm not gonna have any high expectations if it's not tur- doesn't turn out to be true. But if it does turn out to be true, damn. I mean, that would be kind of expensive to pay Kim every time to voice Caddy if she's gonna become like a main character. So that's why I don't know if this could be true. Just because I imagine you know it costs a lot. So. Let's see. I do again. I want. I want justice for Caddy. I, you know, she had a really romantic love story with Pharaoh, in New York, New York. Um, that was her time to shine. You know, she had iconic songs. Her outfit here, her doll release. I mean, it's it's just so mwah, chef's kiss, and um, she is just really like eye grabbing. You know, you can clearly tell this is Caddy Noir by her design. So I really think it's a good idea, you know, if it doesn't end up being true that Kim voices Caddy. But I also feel like it just might be like a one-time cameo and then they might change actors, the voice actors. Because I, again, I don't imagine that it's cheap to get a pop star to voice act a few lines, you know, so they got to think, you know, in the long run here, how much money is going to cost. So I think this is very good news. I think, you know, even if it's not true that Kim Petras will voice Caddy, I'm still shook. Like Kim Petras, D. Kim Petras voicing Caddy Noir is just like a match made in heaven. Even if that doesn't happen, I do think that Caddy as a character will return, uh, even with a different vo- voice actress. So I am just so excited we're here talking about Caddy potentially coming back because she was also in my video of top 10 characters that I wish would come back in this new reboot. So I guess, you know, me and Mattel, we're thinking alike because uh, these these characters, you know, Skeleta and now Caddy both come back and I really hope this is true. Speaking <laughs> of hoping this is really true, next up we have a Cupid voiced by Cupcake for one episode airing this year. Now, if you watched my last video where I made about the IMDb casting list, um, Cupcake was already here. This listing was already here and now there's even a picture. So... If this was fake, I feel like by now it would have been gone, but it's not. So is Cupcake really voicing Cupid? Uh, I know that like Cupcake is a, like a controversial figure. So like, uh, I don't, I just, I mean, Mattel, Monster High, it's supposed to be kid friendly. So if this is like a controversial person, I don't know why this would be their pick to voice Cupid. Uh, it just feels very random again i'm just going by the fact that this listing is still here joshua's and the g1 um versions are no longer here so but cupcakes is voicing cupid it's still here even a picture now so it got updated so is it really happening next we have zoe clement voicing sassy saturn one episode airing at this year now this was also here last time around so i feel like these two might actually be true maybe just the voice actors change but sassy saturn is probably a new character i haven't heard of this character so let's see what that's all about and then lastly we have the iconic voice actress herself christina v voicing widona spider yes widona is coming back and getting voiced by one of the best voice actresses ever christina v who if you don't know has voice acted in so many different projects most notably miraculous ladybug uh you probably heard her marionette also she voiced carmen in rainbow high so yes pretty exciting stuff to see her make a leap to mattel projects now voicing widona spider uh now widona has had you yeah, like two doll releases and like the like the san diego comic-con exclusive doll um so she hasn't had many doll releases or maybe just one doll release and then the exclusive so um basically she hasn't had many doll releases and she's a very underrated character uh very underused now what makes her unique is that she has really uh, like several limbs like arms um i believe three arms on every side so like six arms uh and she has like a really unique face mold with the uh red eyes above her normal eyes you know quote normal eyes so she's gonna look like really cool for her new design in this generation i wonder what she's gonna look like um i bet they're gonna make her look more cute but you know whatever um i hope to keep the extra arms at least four you know at least four if not six at least four <laughs> um but christina v voicing her just really gets me because she's like iconic so yes this sounds this this sounds legit like christina v she's a voice actress 
you know, and then Wudona, new character, uh, new returning character. So this to me sounds very plausible. So I'm very excited. And that was the last character. Now, whether or not we're getting actually a return of Caddy with Kim Petras voicing her or Wudona Spider or, you know, Twyla or just like all these new characters um, and Cupcake voicing Cupid, like whether or not all of this is true, let's see, you know, only time will tell. 50-50, uh, you know, kind of like a good chance that it might be true and 50 50 that it might not be true and yeah that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more doll content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses